Hey, how's it going today, everybody? I hope your New Year's as well, that you are starting the new year on an excellent footing and that you and your family are all well. I've got my large pit bull jumping up on me and he likes to try to be the center of attention. And so I'm out here in the yard. We've had plenty of rain here as of late, which I, I'm always thankful to our Father in Heaven for any moisture and rain that we receive. And so I'm trying to, with a little break, it's starting to just sprinkle a little bit, but I've got a small break here. And I wanted to share a really neat tip with all my viewers. And if, if you guys want to see my plant station, this is it. It's every, everything I have in here. Just a little uh, structure I built. There's a barn that actually encroaches on my land about three feet. And from a neighbor, long story. Uh, but uh, I went ahead and I just built a little structure. So this is all my my uh, gardening stuff in here. There's my little plant station there. And so the secret I want to share are sandbags. Sandbags are a phenomenal item to have around in the garden. They make absolute ideal uh, planters. They are a porous material. And so they have excellent drainage. They drain throughout the entire bag with just the little pores. And if you've ever went to buy pots, especially the three and five gallon pots, and you see how expensive they are, these are about 50 cents a piece. And you can go on to, you know, one of the online, main online sellers like an Amazon. This is called uh, sandbaggy.com. I bought these on Amazon. And I think you can get like a hundred of them for about 50 bucks. Um, so I use these quite often just because they're they're cheap and you know when I sell a plant it reduces the cost of, of my inventory. And uh, another really neat thing with these sandbags is that they make absolute ideal uh, planters for potatoes. You can see how I've got this one kind of rolled down like you'd roll your pant legs. You roll those down and you put the potato in there and then as the potato grows larger you just unfold the rolls and you add more soil and it's like you're you're mounding up your potatoes within the sandbag so it's an absolute ideal situation for that um, and then on top of that you can get uh, you know whatever size pot you want you just uh, roll down the top and if you want to if you need to up pot something then you just pull the plant out and you unroll the sleeve and then put some more soil in the bottom and, and pop the plant back in so it's just a fabulous uh, item to have and to use in the garden. One other quick neat thing with the sandbags I want to show you is the fact that you can use them to crush biochar. And so on my bone crusher video where I crushed the, uh, the char with my truck, I had some uh, feed bags, which is almost the same material. It's a really thick, durable material. And you can use those uh, feed bags as uh, the, the crusher bags because it's not going to rip and tear. But I had somebody tell me that they tried it and the bags tore on them. And I questioned back and I asked what type of bag they used, which they didn't respond back. So hopefully they didn't just use a garbage bag uh, because you do need to have something durable, which, which I did mention in the video. Um, but sandbags would make an excellent uh, crusher bag as well, which I've got some charcoal in here. And so I'm, I'm in the process of uh, crushing it with my sledgehammer and it's, it's indestructible. You're not going to, you're not going to tear the bag and it just makes an excellent reusable uh, bag to do. And, and it's actually the perfect size if you did want to put four of these and uh, lay them down so you could drive over them. It's actually a better size than using the feed bag because your entire wheel would uh, cover this. Whereas the feed bags, the sides don't really get covered as much. So the sandbag would actually be a better application. You wouldn't get, be able to get as much in, but it's going to be crushed more universally. And so that would actually make it a better uh, candidate, in my opinion. But what you want to do, if you wanted to use this as a crusher, you just want to make sure that you don't have a large hump on the back end. You want the, the uh, bone or the char in it to be universally spread out. And another cool thing with the sandbags is that they have drawstrings. And so you can just, un, you know, put the top and uh, twist up the top and then uh, drawstring it together so it's not going to come undone. And then just level out uh, the char 
and you could just drive right over it with this no problem it's not going to rip or tear and it's going to be a really good application but if you have it universally spread out your your vehicle is not going to have a hard time uh, running over it as if it was all humped in in the back end then it would have you know a slight issue and you might spin tires or something like that that all just comes with with trial and error though and so but that is uh my two cents a nice little garden hack for you have some sandbags around they make excellent uh pots and they've got all kinds of uses within the garden and if you grow potatoes they make an excellent uh, pot for potatoes that way you don't have to constantly up up pot it and and you can just uh you know it's a lot easier so i hope this helps you out today i hope your day is going well we're out here enjoying our day enjoying our new year of 2023 and just trying to get some some chores done so i pretty much took the day off yesterday it was just rainy and windy and miserable and so any opportunity for me to be outside, I'm, I'm out here and uh, doing what I love to do. And I hope you are too. So God bless you and have a great day. Take care.